Now, we are interested in this Plan B in my community, and I'm going to show you how a people start to liberate themselves. I think I got one slide on this one, too. Oh, this is the beginning of the liberation. My sister is here. She would appreciate this story. So in my life, I have great privilege. I have the great privilege of talking to you tonight. I have the privilege of living in my own reservation, in my community, on a lake that my great, 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 great ancestors riced for wild rice, fished for fish, danced in the same arbors and in the same ceremonies on the same land, Omaha King, here. Yeah? That's a great privilege. I know that I am fortunate. I know that. And then I have this privilege that I travel around. I try to keep my carbon footprint kind of low. Uh, I'm working on that one. But this here is some people I work with. We fight off bad guys. My son, he is 10. One day he's at his school and he says, uh, he says his teacher says, what's your mom do? She, he says, she saves the rice and helps the wind and fights the bad guys. That's a nice thing, huh? <laughs> anyway, this is fighting bad guys. Fought these coal plants. Big Stone 2. How many of you are from Minnesota? Big Stone 2 was a really bad idea and we defeated it. Big Stone 2, we defeated. We're, we're working on Desert Rock, now down in the southwest of the Navajo Nation. That was one of the other slides. But sometimes, no, you could go back. Well, I, the other one was me, I guess. But a lot of times in our communities, you know, we are people who you wouldn't bet on. You know what I mean? We're technically considered quite oppressed. Nothing has gone well for us. Colonialism, can we use the word sucks? <laughs> yeah. Let's just be honest. But in that, you know, what you find is people would not bet on us. But we fight these guys because what happens sometimes is you get your head, you know, I ask one of my, my sisters this. I said, why was it that you left that man who hit you? Why was it you left that man who hit you? And she said, because I was putting my Indian coat hangers up. That was some nails in the wall. And she said, and when I put those coat hangers up, I put them really high so that when he slammed my head against the wall, I didn't hit them. That is the story a lot of women face, of being battered and thinking how you can do the least damage, yeah? That is like my community. Sometimes you're sitting there and you're waiting and you, you are a landed people. Two-thirds the uranium, one-third of all Western low sulfur coal, the water resources, largest dam projects, the people who live in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. And you see one bad project after another come towards your community. And some of them get in. And then at a certain point, when they hit your head against the wall for the 10th time, you say, that's enough. I'm going to fight you. And I'm going to make you back down. And that is the communities that I have the privilege of working with, people who say no. And a lot of people would not bet on us. But you know what? You don't hang out for 500 years in the largest industrial empire in the world and not be kind of tough. And so we battled. So I was looking at these Sierra Club statistics. They kept a tally of proposed coal plants in their fate since 2000. 101 plants have been defeated. 
That is very good, and you all were part of that. Another 59 face opposition in the courts. Of the 229 plants being tracked, only 23 currently have a chance of getting through. That is the power of people fighting back. Do not relinquish your power. Do not give up. Our mother counts on you to fight back. You know, I work in these communities that fight. Because we know that this is our land, and there is no place else for us to go. And that is really important that somehow, in this process of deconstructing colonial American thinking, that somehow you believe you can keep moving to greener pastures, you say, no, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to fight. I'm going to make it better. It's really, really important. Because just because you have privilege of money, does that mean you have privilege to walk away from responsibility? So we fight, and then we make the alternative. 